Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be filming a video for you guys today. It has been a hot minute since I've been on the YouTube space. I've just been so incredibly busy lately, but I wanted to say thank you guys so much for sticking around and supporting me and watching my videos and commenting and whatnot. It has really made my life amazing and I love you guys so much so I just wanted to get that out there first thing in this video and let you know that yes I'm back to filming videos and I will be back for my I believe it's Thursday Sunday uploads and I really just want to say thank you guys so today I'm going to be doing a video about my foundation coverage routine and how I do my foundation my concealer my powder my blush my bronzer and how I do that part of my face routine because it has definitely changed over the past couple of um, months now that my skin is a little bit better and I've kind of adapted my style so to speak so I just wanted to do a video for you guys showing you that because I get asked about that quite a lot so thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys in just a second in a clip where I have no makeup on so be ready for that here we go so since I'm going to be showing you guys my step-by-step -step face routine and the updated version of how I do my face makeup and how I prime and everything, I'm going to start with the steps that I would normally take every single day when I'm doing my makeup. So the first step that I normally do when doing my face makeup or my foundation concealer routine um, is I take my Limelight First Base Makeup Setting Spray. This is really good because our foundation is wax based so it doesn't react very well to silicone primers and this helps to lock in the makeup and help it stay all day so I'm gonna just gonna spray my face really quick with that and next this is a step that I've been doing lately as well that I've seen has really helped prolong my foundation I've been using this Marc Jacobs coconut primer there this is their new line um, the coconut line and it's called the invisible undercover perfecting coconut face primer this doesn't have any silicones in it um it's almost comes out kind of like a lotion if you can see that kind of comes out like a lotion and what i do is i just start on my t-zone and rub this all over my face and the benefits that i see of this are really just prolonging the wear of my makeup i don't have um, my foundation breaking apart or anything like that. I don't normally have that, but this is just an extra step that I like to do to make sure that my face makeup stays kind of set and on all day long. So after I've done that, next I will move on to doing my concealer. I do most of my concealing underneath my foundation because I like my foundation to be all one color. I like it all to be very I don't know, I don't like to do the huge triangles and stuff under the eyes, so I'll take my concealer, my Limelight by Alcone, whoo, waterproof complete concealer, it comes in a little thing like this, and I like to take this with my sponge, my Blenderful sponge, um, and dip it into my product, and just get in there, it's hard for me to do it right now because I don't, it's kind of around the edges, but I like to go in and conceal all of my incredibly red areas, um, and I literally just go around and really make sure that all those areas that I have that are the dark ones, um, are concealed because the foundation has such high pigment that I don't need, I really don't need to do this step, but I really like a flawless look, like no blemishes or anything being seen, which is why I do it this way, which is why I conceal first. And then go through and I'm able to use less foundation at that point. So as you can see, I'm just hitting those points. And yes, this concealer is lighter than my actual skin color. I'm aware of that. This is a concealer that I also use under my eyes. But I do this so that... Um, But I do this so that my foundation, when I put it on, won't be darker than what I need it to be. So I end up going under my eyes as well. I, I do my under eye concealer underneath my foundation as well, which is not really common anymore. If you've actually watched like any kind of YouTube beauty video, 
is always concealing before and I know I look absolutely crazy right now but bear with me this is just how I do this process every single day and I know it also looks like a lot of product but really it's not um, because this concealer is so high coverage it covers a lot in a large or in a small area so and I also just like to go over my nose a little bit because it's very red so now that I look absolutely crazy I don't really tend to like blend all this out um, and so now I'm going to take my botanical foundation, my Lemma Botanical Foundation. This is awesome. Um, and I have the shade Gina Beige. And so all I'll do is take this big part of my sponge and circle it like that in the foundation. And then you can see, I'll just go and cover up all of that concealer. Now that my face is completely covered and I look absolutely insane, um, I don't know why I look so much like wax. Like, I mean, I guess it's a wax-based foundation, but like in person it does not look this way. But I'm just going to kind of get that off my lips so I can come alive a little bit. And I've been taking my concealer again with the tip of the sponge and just kind of adding a little bit to brighten up my under eye area. Not um, a lot, just going under here. I'm just making sure that this area and on the inner corner is just bright and, you know, it just kind of lifts the eye a little bit. And as you can see, I also added some to the high points of my face. And now that my entire face is completely concealed, the base to all of my makeup is flawless. I'm going to take my RCMA No Color Powder. This is my favorite powder of all time. I love loose powder and I love using a lot of powder, so this is great. And I just pour some into my hand. And I'm going to use my Limelight Balcone Pointed, uh, it's like a tapered powder brush. And I'm just going to take that and I always start at my jawline and I start powdering my face. I use a lot of powder, you guys. Um, I wouldn't recommend using this much powder, but I do it, so, you know, it just depends on personal preference. A lot of people like very small amounts of powder. I like my face to literally be, like, cemented on. <laughs> but that's just me. So now that my face has like no color in it whatsoever, I'm going to take my angled blush brush from Limelight into my Perfect Bronzer and I'm going to bronze slash contour my face. I kind of stopped doing a separate contouring step because it just was unnecessary at that point. Um, because this bronzer is so universal, I don't have to use, you know, a separate contouring powder because it, the bronzer is not orange. Um, it's a very natural looking bronze, so I can get away with contouring my face and bronzing it at the same time. And so I just take this around the perimeters of my face, really, and get that on both sides. And the thing that I love about this bronzer is it's not flat matte either. It has a little itsy bitsy micro teeny bit of, it's almost like a satin finish, so it doesn't look... Um, it doesn't look flat and like muddy on your skin. It's amazing. And now I always add, I always add a little bit right under the tip of my nose and down a little bit on both sides of my nose and under my lip to make my lip look a little bit bigger.
And now I take my brush into my number seven blush. It's a peachy color. It's, I mean, you guys have seen it in pretty much every single video that I've ever done because it's the only blush I ever wear. It's a perfect color for every single skin tone. It looks gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. It works with pretty much every single makeup look ever invented. And so that is my blush. And then I take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow, Qui Glow Kit in Gleam. Looks like this. And the inside looks like this. Obviously, you can tell my favorite colors. I'm going to take this pinky shade and use that along the high points of my face here. Um, I like using the pinky shade because it's not so icy as the lightest one. Um... I obviously take this in this area. I'm not very precise with highlight, honestly, because it is, it's just highlight. I mean, it is what it is. And then I take that lightest shade along the tip of my nose and the tip of my cupid's bow. And then I always add a little bit on top of these super high points just for some added glow and now that i finished my face i'm gonna go and finish the rest of my makeup so you can see everything done and on and i will see you guys in a little bit so here you guys have it this is the finished makeup look with my updated foundation and face routine i hope you enjoyed this is more of a full coverage you know, full face of makeup. And if you want to see a tutorial on this actual eye look, let me know down in the comments below. I'd be happy to do that for you. It's really easy, really simple, and it's really the eyelashes that make the look. So just let me know if you want to see one of those. Um, also, put down in the comments what kind of videos you want to see from me next. That really helps me out, especially because I want to make content that you guys like. So definitely let me know. And also, if you are interested in becoming a beauty guide or joining my team, please let me know and comment down below and I can send you a message, give you some info, or my link is always in the description bar so that you guys can click it and join if you want to. So thank you guys so much again for watching this video. I'm glad to be back. I'm getting back on the horn. I'm getting back in and I'm so excited to be back with you guys for YouTube. And I got on the other day and I was like 1300 subscribers. You guys are crazy. So I'm so happy to be here. I love YouTube. I love you guys. So I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. I'll talk to you later. Peace.